Well, again, I mean, that's up to someone to judge of whether they're innovative or not. I mean, they seem to, uh, they seem to draw the attention of people creating media for the form that it takes. In the end, interactivity is simply, uh, you know, the audience interacting with the media, whether that's through the click of a mouse or uh, interacting with the creators of that media who are building these structures to let them play with the material, or perhaps they're interacting with other members of the audience while the production is happening. Uh, I do believe that so for some reason, when you're in control of your media, and whether that's even as simple as a rewind button or a next button, or the wave of a motion control or something, I do think it changes the way that people experience a story and commit to it, so I think it changes the way that they leave the story and uh, how they might understand an issue or someone's personal point of view. So interactivity is very key, but I, I, don't, I don't hold it up as the be all end all. For me, interactivity is a method to get people to understand and think about story a little bit differently. The test tube, the animation and the music work to draw you in. There's a beatboxing monkey on the front of it and the sort of hand-drawn animation with all these little bacteria and things floating about is, is what's designed to capture your attention, so sound and motion. And then the words are very simple as well and try to be provocative by saying, you know, if you had an extra minute right now, what would you do? Without any other context that this is an experience that's going to begin and it's going to talk to you about uh, exponential growth and population growth and the problems of the economy and all of those things we didn't tell you exactly what that was going to be so by by being specifically vague but being uh, impactful through design and sound and I think through the question yeah we were able to tap into people's sort of willingness to commit to something for a couple minutes if they have an extra moment throughout the day so uh, the beginning of that simple by simply asking a question it's it becomes interactive. I'm not pretending that it's anything more than that, but by being interactive we're then able to in the back end of course display also all of those responses into the site which I think tell an even different story about how we live our lives these days. So yeah it was a good tool to to sort of incorporate into what is essentially a piece of video around this interactivity, right?